2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Genesis Scottish Open is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Luke Elby here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, we're here at the Renaissance Club in East Lothian, Scotland. Yes, Luke, we're here at the Gulf Coast in Scotland, where there is 23 golf courses within a seven mile radius of the Renaissance Club. And this is a new one. This is where the Scottish Open's been coming to the last few years. They've actually rerouted the golf course a little bit, haven't changed the holes, just kind of changed the way that the players navigate it. But it's a really good test. I've seen it where the winds have been calm, the sun has been shining, and good scores have been had. But just like every other course in Scotland, as soon as it gets breezy and it gets rainy and it gets cold, you don't want any part of it. It's one of the newer golf courses. It's a little bit longer than the ones they've played in the years gone by, and it's a beauty. I absolutely love this golf course. I love the flow of it. The one thing it doesn't have going for it, uh, Luke, is the fact that it has a lot of history or lack of. But listen, give it time. This is gonna go down as one of the better golf courses in Scotland in due time. I love this golf course, so do the players. It's a lot of fun to play, and I'm excited about being here. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. And let's see what he can do here today. And what are we looking at with their approach shot, Rich? Green sits slightly above the players. There's bunkers dotting the front left and one just front right. If they do throw it to the left and long, it will come down a pretty good sized slope back onto the center of the green. That could play. That was a top effort, that one. So close to going down. Yep, that shot safely on the green. What's in front of them, Henny? Straight back up this hill can be firm here. This one's tracking. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. And as we head to the second, Rich, the players heading back towards the first tee. Strong par four here, just under 500 yards. There's a bunker down the left-hand side you must avoid if you want a clear opening for your second shot. Narrow fairway up there, a good tee shot's a must. Nicely done. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? He's got, hmm, I'd say a solid 145 here. He really got that one out there. Fantastic drive. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Oh, that was bang on target. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. Gotta like their chances from there. Let's head over to the 15th hole, shall we? Here's Justin Rose. Oh, what a ripper from long range. Wow, what can you say? Holding it out from the fairway. Every player loves that feeling. What a shot indeed. As we head to the third hole, Rich, uh, one of the very good scoring opportunities here at the Renaissance Club. Yes, Luke, just about 600 yards or so. Players must hit it out to the left-hand side with their tee shots. Anything right is going to go into a huge cluster of trees where they're going to have all kinds of problems. Oh, that's a high-caliber shot.
almost went in. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? He's staring down 23 feet here. Oh, get in. And down she goes from outside the range. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. And now four under for the day. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. And as we take a look at the fourth hole, the shortish par four, Rich. Yes, just around the 415 yard mark, players who take out driver and drive it up into the narrow section of the fairway will get a really good look with their second shots. This one is chewing fiber. Oh, what a shot. Mark it down as an eagle. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. What a shot. Let's go ahead and put the old stink eye on another one. Yeah, this was a gift. Wasn't expecting this. What's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Hello up there. We are uh, checking in down here with Harold Varner III as he gets set for his next shot here on the 14th. That's outstanding. What a putt. And that will take him to five under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The fifth hole, Rich, a really good risk-reward short four. Most players, Luke, should go for this short par four, but watch out for the green because this green has got all kinds of danger on it. Twist, turns, bobs, weaves, ducks, it's got it all. Great drive. Let's hope that makes it all the way to the surface. Yeah, good aggressive play and almost rewarded by finding the green. Setting themselves up for a birdie, hopefully an eagle. Getting ready to play their third. Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? Certainly makes putting easy if you can chip it that close. Great touch. Sitting at minus six in a share of ninth position. Didn't that look good for a long time? So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Trailing by six shots after that hole. And the first of our short holes here at the Renaissance Club, Rich, is the par three sixth. Oh, this is a nasty little par three dotted by some pot bunkers on the front part of it. A big one over there on the right hand side. Club selection is imperative. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Well, that's beautifully judged. This one here, this is for back to back birdies moving him in the right direction. He's currently in a share of sixth. And the seventh on the card, Rich, our second of the uh, opening nine par fives. Yeah, look, a fairly generous driving area. There's just a couple of bunkers you have to worry about. However, you find the fairway. Now your chances of making birdie or better increase significantly. That a boy. Good shot. Oh, 
Oh, absolutely flushed. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hello up there. We are uh, checking in down here with Harold Varna III as he gets set for his next shot here on the 17th. Wonderfully played. This putt to get to double digits under the card. They're staring this down for Eagle. This is on a great line. Oh, what a super shot. To the top five he goes. Currently at 10 under par overall. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Rich, as we face the eighth hole, what kind of decisions do the players face off the tee? Well, most players aren't able to carry those fairway bunkers basically right in the middle of the fairway, so they have to lay up with a three wood or less, find the fairway that cambers pretty significantly from left to right. from about 130 yards here. Five shots off the lead. And hitting yet another green here today. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Oh, good look at birdie here. Nice line. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. Nicely played, moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. The ninth is a strong par three reach, one of the longer ones. It is. There's some bunkers on the right-hand side that you absolutely must avoid. If you miss it on the left-hand side, however, you've got to pitch uphill to a green that will slope away from you. A par here is a really good score. Should find the green here. Oh, my! Right by the hole. Ah, great shot. Here's a chance to get to 12 under. This for a birdie birdie run. Rolling end to end is looking nice. Oh, just missed. Didn't have to sweat that power putt. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 15th. So after that effort, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. As we begin the second nine, Rich, the uh, back nine starts with a par five. And a par five that players should be looking to take advantage of. Just tee it up and hit it as hard as you can. Fairway is wide open. Does camber from right to left, so don't get too frisky down that left-hand side. That was wonderfully done. Well, they got after that one right up near the surface. Good play. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. Here's Will Zalatoris. And it goes in. Great shot. 
needed it. Needed that in a big way, chipping in for the par. And here we are with the third shot. Four strokes off the lead. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Sitting at 12 under par for the day. Rich, I know this next hole is one of your favourites, the 11th here at the Renaissance Club. This is one of the coolest holes I've ever played, Luke. It's a dog leg from left to right, fairly generous teeing area. Don't want to miss it too far right, however. But the second shot into the screen, this could be the coolest green I've ever seen. It's got more movement than any other green I've seen in competition. I absolutely love this hole. Pretty good shot there. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Four shots behind our leader. Going with the eight iron here. They've decided to club up. Wow, what a shot. You know what, that deserves a golf clap. It's just about three feet away. This is their look at birdie. That's a good putt to make that one. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. The 12th rich, uh, par three. Just over 200 yards on the card. You back uphill just a little bit. What really makes this hole difficult, Luke, though, is when the wind is coming directly in the player's face. When that happens, ooh, watch out. This hole is a doozy. Going with the seven. This one is right down the pipe. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. A birdie putter waits. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Tiger Woods as he gets set for his next shot here on the 14th. Oh, that's a bonus. And he dances his way to the top ten after that delightful shot. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Another beautiful hole ridge, this one right along the coast, the 13th. Oh, this is breathtaking off the tee, isn't it? But don't let the views suck you in. Even though it's a wide fairway, you got to hit it down the right-hand side as this fairway pitches significantly from right to left. Find the fairway and happy days. Well, that's a handy shot. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 13th. Time to check in with Lydia Ko. An absolute beauty here. That's an absolute peach. Well played. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Five feet coming up to the cup. Yep, tracking nicely. That's inside the range. Currently 15 under par for the event. Let's begin the 14th. Mm. 
Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. That was a beauty. And this putt for a sheer of the lead. And that will drop in for birdie. And that makes him tied for first. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Well played, mate. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Currently tied for the lead. Great looking shot, this. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. Just a few holes remaining in the round. The 16th hole, one of the last true birdie chances, Rich. It is. Tee it high and let it fly there, Luke. Don't go down the left-hand side and find any of those bunkers. Hit it down the right-hand side, and you got to believe you're going to make, at worst, a birdie four. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Looks to have opted for the 8-iron. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. And the birdie with big wings on the table here if they can make this one. Leading by three strokes now. All right, Rich, the 17th. This is an amphitheater style green. All sides kind of work back towards the green. There is a little front left section though. When they put the flag stick over there, you have a really good opportunity to hit it in there close. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. This putt about 11 feet in distance. Ooh, right by the hole. Three feet to go here to the hole. And down it goes. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And as we make our way to the finishing hole here, Rich, how is this 18th at the Renaissance Club? This is an absolute brute, Luke. Just under 500 yards, and you must find the fairway. You cannot geek it down this hole off the tee. There is danger both left and right. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 145 yards. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Oh, that one just missed the hole. That was special. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Just three feet to the cup. Gets that one to go down, and that'll end the day's work.